he was cured of the crippled condition. He are to show you the festivity of Santo Cristo de la Capilla in Saltillo, Coahuila, in this great country of Mexico. Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, let's get started. Today I am reporting from Saltillo, Coahuila, in the beautiful country of Mexico. I want to share with you a special festivity, maybe the most important party in this city. It is called the Fiesta de Santo Cristo de la Capilla. It has been celebrated for 400 years. Legend tells us that in 1608, right on these streets appeared a, a mule carrying a heavy box. The villagers started asking questions about that mule. They wanted to know who the owner was, so nobody would steal the, the things that that mule was carrying. They inquired for over a day just one day, right? They incurred for over a day, and at the end of the day, curiosity won them over. They opened the box, and they say that box was a beautiful sculpture of Jesus Christ. You know how the thing goes. Anyway, that sculpture was so beautiful, they were struck by awe, and they interpreted that as a sign that Christ wants us to stay on this city, more specifically on the Capilla. Now, for the history buff, the true story was that a wealthy merchant traveled to Veracruz to, to do business. In that town, he bought the beautiful sculpture. He bought it as an ofrenda to the Capilla. Here, you see, he was one of the original founders of this town. During colonial times, Historians thought that the sculpture was created in Spain. However, most recent studies think that it was created in Jalapa by Indian hands because of the material by which it is constructed, caña de maíz. So, he sent his mules back. It, that's a journey of over 1,300 kilometers. I don't know what the, it's over 60 days for a mule to ride. Anyway, the mule arrived before him and so the town folk prefer to believe that story because actually that's pretty neat. A lot of people regard that travel as the very first miracle of the Christ, of the image of the Christ. It is a, a very long voyage.
historical records document that the image arrived on a march in 1607. However, the fiesta is celebrated each August the 6th to commemorate the transfiguration of Jesus Christ on Mount Tabor. <laughs> Something of interest is that in Mexico, each city has a patron celebration each year. This city was actually founded on 25 of July back in 1577 by a Captain Alberto del Canto and 15 other conquerors. Santo Cristo is not the patron of the city. The original patron of the city is Santiago. It was called Saltillo de Santiago because the city was originally founded on, a, on the day of Santiago. Spaniards had the tradition that whenever they conquered or founded a new city, they would name the saint of that day as the patron of each city. Now let's talk about the culture. This festivity, as I've said before, has been celebrated each for each year for about 400 years. It has two components. One is the religious and the other is the cultural. Let's talk about the religious first. The religious festivity is celebrated in two ways. Attending church or in the Rosario for nine consecutive days. I don't know how do you speak Rosario in English. So anyways, attending the mass, the mass is given by the bishop. And he speaks mostly about the Catholic social doctrine. Whenever a miracle occurred, they would toll the bells so that the people would ca could came and see it. This is of course not a toll of the bell because of a miracle. I'm just showing you the sound. Here. Over the centuries, several miracles have been attributed to this image. The most frequent were when the image sweats as a human being and sometimes the image would reportedly feel like human skin. Esta, mis amigos, es la iglesia de San Francisco. Parece que hoy se va a celebrar una quinceañera. One of the miracles ascribed to the statue of Jesus, of the Santo Cristo, is one of a crippled man who lived in this church, the church of San Francisco. He was a crippled man. And when he heard the toll of the bells that signified of a miracle occurring at the cathedral, he woke up and started running in the direction of the cathedral 
because he wanted to be a witness to the miracle. It was not until he reached the cathedral that he understood that the miracle was per performed on himself. He was cured of the crippled condition. He, uh, he was cured of the paralysis. Likewise, the cultural tradition is a festivity that incorporates two kinds of elements. Again, a religious and a pagan, a pagan one. This mix is known in Mexico as Romería. The Romería has been present in the tradition of this culture for the same exact 400 years. It is a time in which the Spaniards and Indians came to celebrate in one same festivity. That didn't occur too often. It is stated that maybe in this city, this one festivity was the only time in which Spaniards and Indians celebrated alike. La mano. History tells of ranchers coming to the city all the way from the ranch to bet with the little money they could, they could earn to the time for as far back as the colonial times. That's in the 1700s, 1600s. The closest thing we have here to bet on public places is called Loteria. La bota, pescado y bota. It's like bingo, but with images instead of letters and numbers. El this festival is attended by Mexicans from, from all over the country and by some Mexican Americans and even Americans that come to visit. Likewise, merchants from all over the country come to sell their wares. In the market you will find pots, bread, food and even jewelry. The salesmen for the jewelry are known as Merolicos. Now I remember. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more videos like this in which I explore the different festivities around the world. Post in the comments if you know of a certain festivity and I'll arrange it in the calendar. See you around. Peace.